Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Mercedes AMG GLC 43 4MATIC Coupe. Yes, super duper long name of this car. And let's quickly open the engine bay. Obviously, hydraulic struts says AMG right there. Okay, this engine will give you a fuel economy between 5 to 9 kilometers per liter depending on your driving style. Of course, you've got insulation right there. And you know what? The car looks really sporty thanks to the Pan Americana grille with 15 fins. Yeah, 15 fins. Massive Mercedes logo right there. Okay, there's a camera up front. You know what? It has also got brake assist, which automatically applies brakes in case someone is in front. And you know what? There are three settings, early, medium and late. That's also pretty cool. Car looks really rad in this paint shade. I love the way Mercedes is doing matte colors on AMG, especially in India. At least the Indian models have it. Okay, this is the LED DRL, which also doubles up as the indicator. Lights are really nice and bright. See the Mercedes logo? Yeah. Attention to detail is absolutely crazy. It says multi-beam LED on the inside. Okay, you can see my shoes. On the other side, I'll show you how it doubles up. That is the indicator. The car is really very aggressive. You get front parking sensors. This is a functional air curtain as well. So aerodynamics have been taken very seriously because after all, it's an AMG. This is the towing hook, massive grill so that breathing is not an issue here at all. Coming to the side of the car, again, it looks aggressive. Lot of AMG bits here, but let's get to the wheels of the car. Now, the wheel size at the front happens to be a little different, 255, 45, 20s. The wheel design is super duper awesome as well. And I love how the, you know, AMG drilled rotors are done. Really very cool. Says AMG right here, although they could have chosen a better color to highlight the same. So yeah, the wheel design is absolutely rad on this car. Side footstep, by turbo 4 matic written right there. Gloss black finishing on the outside rear view mirror, but the roof is not gloss black. Look at this gloss black finish around the windows as well instead of chrome, which is very sporty. Okay, there's a puddle lamp here. When you open the car at night, the mirrors retract and the puddle lamps show as well. The rear tire, of course, is slightly bigger. 285, 40, 20s. Okay, the disc is obviously smaller at the rear, but there's no AMG lettering on the brake calibers. Kind of disappointing, but AMG written on the wheels. I love the wheels on the car. They look really right. In fact, the wheels are so wide. They're so wide that they actually jut out of the body. Can you see that? <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. They jut out of the body. Really wide tires on this car. Coming to the rear, first and foremost, I forgot to tell you from the side. It's a coupe. Okay. Sloping roof line. Looks very sporty indeed. But disappointingly though, there is no keyless entry, which is very surprising. You have to remove the key every time you want to get inside the car. Okay. Mercedes Benz written here on the side as well. So a lot of attention to detail. Let's open the flap here. Yeah, it tells you the tire pressure and there is a rescue card. Okay, you can scan that QR code. The tail lights at the rear. The tail lights are always at the rear. What are you talking about? Real nice attention to detail. Looks fab at night. Get this chrome lining as well. GLC 43. And you've got quad exhaust on this car. Yeah, four exhausts on this car. Functional, of course, there's a diffuser. Reverse parking sensors. Where is the reverse camera? Well, the reverse camera is right inside. When you get into reverse, it actually pops out. AMG written right there and there's a subtle spoiler as well. The car looks super duper aggressive from the rear. Looks really very nice and in order to open the boot, well, you press this and that is how the boot opens. Obviously, it's a power tailgate. The boot is slightly smaller than what is usually the case with a normal SUV but this is a coupe so obviously it's sloping, eating into the boot carrying capacity. Now, let me show you another cool thing is that there's good amount of storage here below too but you know what, the spare wheel is smaller size. In fact, the size is written inside. Should we get to it? Of course we should. Which means that I need to remove this first things first and take this up. Yeah, there it is. You can see the tire size. Well, the tire size is 145, 80, 19. 145 is very chintu chintu size. Let's put this tray back into place. This tray, well, you see, practical bit, huh? Proper storage space for the first aid kit. What is this? I don't know. I don't care. Okay, there is a 12 volt charging socket. There's a hook here, hook here as well. Okay, this is to decrease the ride height of the car, so easier access to the boot and okay, there is this button to recline the seat, another button to recline the seat, you press this button, there the seat reclines, parcel shelf as well, pretty practical, huh? press this button, the boot closes, obviously there is a light as well there, so yeah, not really a very practical boot but they have given it nifty touches as well, now what we need to do is we need to put this back into place, the seat reclined, doesn't go completely flat, you get red seat belts, you can put the seat belts back into place here, that's also cool, okay, let's shut it. Typical Mercedes quality, absolutely fantastic the way this car has been put together. Really love it. You see <laughs> the bulging, uh, what do you say, side molding or body cladding. And uh, this is obviously the mud flap. Really very nicely done. Super duper awesome. I love the way this car looks. So fab. 
okay let's get into the rear you get a sun blind manually adjustable sun blind which obviously helps in keeping the sun out red stitching okay, there's this wood a uh, little different colored wood love the red stitching on the car in on the interior actually and you see the door pockets are also big enough quality levels are absolutely phenomenal you get this chrome line as well the rear seat experience well it's decent i would say you get red seat belts everywhere amg written on the carpets as well let's step inside and let me tell you that uh, you know what there's good amount of knee room and leg room they're actually decent scoop dot seat bag magazine holder ac controls this is the ac control actually and ac vents are placed here as well however headroom isn't that great my hair is almost touching the roof the seat recline angle isn't that great it's a bit upright it could have been more reclined there's a light placement hook and a handle as well same is the case on the other side you get three adjustable headrests which is very optimistic on mercedes benz but you get a center armrest too and you know what the center armrest actually has storage space right below along with cup holders as well so really practical in that sense i like it but there's a massive hump in the center which means three people are not comfortable but thankfully there are two usb c charging sockets along with a 12 volt charging socket as well mercedes has really given it a ton of charging options okay you see the dashboard the dashboard looks really sporty too of course it's a regular glc with some bit of sportiness added for good measure let's get outside yeah under thigh support well under thigh support is decent not that great honestly i didn't like the under thigh support on this car but yes that is the problem with coupes they slope the roof line and they compromise on the rear seat experience but then at least it looks absolutely fantastic on the outside so i'm just going to turn around and uh, get inside doesn't the car look absolutely stellar i honestly think it looks stunning in every possible way the only thing is that yeah request sensor is needed every time i have to remove the key it's kind of pain in the rear now it says amg right here which actually glows at night and the door pockets are massive at the front this is obviously to open the boot of the car metal switches for the power window controls locker unlock the car of course bemester speaker this is to heat the seat so yeah the front seats get the heated function heating function and this is obviously the adjustment for the driver seat three memory functions you can save up to three people settings as well and just seat under thigh support is never an issue because you can increase the under thigh support on this car which is fantastic sport seats look at the bolstering absolutely fantastic i love it all right you also get these aluminum pedals proper dead pedal this is the electric parking brake of the car these are the controls for the headlights it obviously gets uh, automatic headlights without a doubt that's something you knew about and uh, you know what i've turned on the rear fogs can you see that yeah the rear fogs have been turned on they're only on one side though only on the right side see the doors fantastic the quality the stitching this is a mercedes benz in the true sense obviously mercedes benz are mercedes benz in the true sense because the quality of the interior is absolutely phenomenal what a lovely interior i absolutely love the way mercedes is doing quality on its car looks so good the design is so okay pardon that because i think the car was going at speed and something some bird or something came anyways red stitching on the dashboard looks super duper awesome can you see mercedes is written right here of course you can't see it so i have to get out and show it to you okay here mercedes has been written where is it yeah there mercedes has been written what they do now they sometimes write carl benz sometimes they write mercedes yeah there it is it's a nice and subtle touch basically it's kind of an easter egg this is the engine start button listen to the door shut okay proper thud thunk whatever you want to call it i don't like this uh, wood finish in the center console probably okay it's subtle color it's not like bright brown but still it's kind of uh, yeah not really sporty it's a mix of luxury and sportiness inside the cabin the glove box is small in size not really big and there is a compartment on the top also there's a light placement here so there's a compartment on the top quality is so good below the front center armrest there's storage space and there are two usb slots as well and press this button it opens it's very slick i'm very slick obviously the co-passenger also gets electric adjust and there's a sunroof on offer as well here you obviously get a light along with a the mirror there's a mic placement right there same is the case here as well you get a light along with a the mirror there's a door handle on the driver side this car has got seven airbags okay you know what there's light placement here too check this out okay yeah there's light placement here as well that's kind of cool and awesome so these side buttons are for the same this is obviously the interior light from here you can turn it on and uh, basically you can keep the rear light on as well by pressing this button but ironically i can't find the rear light okay there there it is there it is so you can actually turn this on as well that's also a nice touch here i shut it off it's kind of cool okay this is obviously got mercedes me it's got mbux this is the mbux system the new mercedes mbux absolutely fab what a system i love it lights and there's a sunglass holder here as well 
SOS button. Okay, this is to open the sunroof of the car. So there, the sunroof opens. Now the sunroof is small in size, but because it's a coupe, they can't really put a big sunroof. And yeah, it's a decent size. Brings in some airy feeling inside the cabin. You know why? Because the cabin is black and it's dark and it has a sloping roof line. So you actually need it. So here, when you shut this, it has to be manually opened and shut, which is very disappointing because you would be like, okay, I should get a electric sun blind for the sunroof for sure. The steering wheel is the AMG specific unit, which is a flat bottom unit, which says AMG right here, metal treatment, paddles feel really nice. Even the switches and controls are super duper awesome. The car feels fantastic. You get this red in the center to tell you where you're centered. And the red stitching is so well done. Now, this is a 10.25 inch screen. It is known as the Mercedes Benz UX. Okay, whatever. It is MBUX. This is a... 12.3 inch screen it's a full digital instrument cluster which is fantastic this is the gas selector of the car and these are the controls for the indicators as well as for the wipers let's use the wipers right away plenty of spray on offer okay there's no rear wiper there's no rear washer because of the sloping roof line but then of course even the x6 does not get the same a lot of spray on offer somehow now there's storage space here as well this is an ashtray you can actually remove it and uh, yeah take it home empty it and bring it back the mercedes logo on top and this is actually the place to keep the key because it says like it has the key diagram on it not a diagram logo on it so here i'm going to keep the key let's see whether it fits exactly no it doesn't really fit there's a usb c charging socket here and there is a charging wireless charging pad right down there as well meanwhile a lot of controls again typical mercedes benz affair this is a touchpad it's not the best to use i would have liked the rotary knob in the earlier mercedes cars which was just more easier to use and this is a little finicky for me this is the drive mode selector. You can decide on which mode you want to put the car in. This is to get into manual or get out of manual of the gearbox. This is the AMG Sport Suspension. Okay, it's not actually called the AMG Sport Suspension as such. It's actually called the AMG Ride Control. And this is to turn on and off traction control. Here there are four buttons. Now this is obviously for the parking camera. Now it has got self-park. So I'm doing self-park right now. And the best thing is this Mercedes system. Now it not only, you know, applies brakes and accelerator, it also actually changes gears. That's right. So yeah, it's doing the self-park thing right now. I'm getting a little freaked out. So I'm applied the brakes, but here, I'm going to let it do it. You see, it is actually juddering the brakes, applying brakes. It says park. Okay, it's telling me to be ready to brake. Here it's parked. Wow. And it's done. The camera actually pops out, which I already told you. And you can change the views as well, which is a good thing because obviously it's got a 360 degree parking camera, which you can see right here. This is for the auto stop start system. This is for sport exhaust and this is for the volume control. There are a lot of buttons here, which are obviously for the infotainment system, telephone, navigation, radio. And guess what? It will automatically shut off the airbag if a passenger is not sitting. That's also very cool. This is to get into the car settings. Press this button straight away onto settings. And uh, this is the star button, which is basically you can actually program it what you want to do with that. Hazard light button. These are the controls for the air conditioning. It's got dual zone climate control. You can sync it. Meanwhile, three AC vents in the center. This is a touch screen. It is so fantastic. You know what? It's got something known as themes. You can change the themes as well. Super duper slick, super duper awesome. It's got voice commands, which I will show you while driving the car. And it's got ambient lighting, which is cool enough. You know why? Because it's got 64 freaking colors. We're just going to shut multicolor. And there you see 64 color ambient lighting. That is super duper awesome. It's a very slick system. It's fantastic. And obviously, it's got Mercedes Me. It, will, it has connected car features. And it says 4G right there because it's already connected, has an inbuilt SIM. Get into settings right here. And like the usual stuff which you see in Mercedes cars, plenty of information and the graphics are just so good. They're just so amazing. I love the way the system works. It's so amazing. It is one of the best without a doubt. Mercedes is giving BMW a run for its money because till now I thought the iDrive was the best, but this is no less. Okay. I love the navigation. The navigation, look at the clarity of the navigation, the graphics, everything is so slick. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's play an audio right away. Audio quality is good from these Burmester speakers, of course. But yeah, I expected a little bit more, but I'm always greedy in that sense. Now, steering wheel has a lot of buttons. These are actually to control this screen. These are to control that screen. And obviously, this is for the cruise control system of the car. Now, this screen is really very rad because you know what? You've got three different styles for the instrument cluster and you know what you can go to the right one and you can browse and you can decide if you want to change stuff there as well tire pressure monitor lot of car info it is so fantastic okay, it's saying 4.7 kilometers per liter right now oh, oh oh that is bad okay now there are three designs which i will show you while driving the car because i'll keep changing all these designs so you get to experience different kind of designs while driving the car meanwhile 
you can operate everything you can operate on the left screen from this screen as well yeah that is so slick beautiful system so much information on offer the car feels fantastic obviously it's got electric adjust for the steering wheel both for reach as well as rake the seats are comfortable the car is beautiful the interior feels really rad but this is an amg all you care about is how is it to drive so let's get going all right we're all set to go hey mercedes how may i help you vehicle data there you go that's so smart air conditioning off yeah air conditioning off we get into sport plus mode into gear left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor rev still 2000 rpm or so 100% gas 100% brake and my goodness the acceleration is absolutely mind blowing because this is the 43 not the 63 but still the 43 is more than enough the performance is surreal trust me on this this is of course a 3 liter v6 engine which is a doc unit i'm slowing down because there's a rumbler ahead and obviously low profile tires don't want to risk it so what you're going to do is we're going to at least save two of the tires by not taking it through the rumblers but here we slow down now just see the aggressive downshifts of this car and then you clear and you get under the gas and freaking soundtrack for a six cylinder engine is absolutely mind blowing the way this car performs so this 3 liter v6 engine is a dohc unit with 24 valves and produces 390 horsepower at 6100 rpm meanwhile the torque output is an equally impressive 520 newton meters between 2500 to 5000 rpm now there is an upgrade of power by 23 horsepower earlier it was 367 now it's 390 for the facelift but the torque output of 520 newton meters remains the same and ironically even with the power increase the 0 to 100 km per hour time is the same as before which is 4.9 seconds top speed 250 km per hour top speed cannot be increased beyond 250 km per hour obviously i think it's restricted but you can't buy the amg drivers package or something of that sort to increase it 250 km per hour is what this car will do nothing beyond that you want more speed get the 63 well that makes sense so like i was telling you performance is absolutely surreal but even though there is an increase in power why is it not faster from 0 to 100 km per hour because i think all that power compensates for a massive mid-range punch which i'm going to show you here what you're going to do is we're going to change the cluster mode to sport get into engine data here left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator having the motor my goodness what a freaking entertaining engine absolutely lovely the way it performs okay there is a hint of turbo lag lower down but the mid-range performance is absolutely surreal and then just before you reach the red line it tapers off yeah the power tapers off just before the red line the red line is 6500 rpm but it will shift around 6000 rpm right now just to give you those fast and aggressive shifts now it's a nine speed torque converter gearbox which is extremely quick with shifts obviously you've got steering mounted paddles as well beautiful paddles really helps you to actually get the gear you want every time because i mean you love operating it and you know the best thing about this car is the exhaust it has got four pipes and those four pipes do their job very well because you know what oh my god the downshifts are so fast at upshifts it cracks on downshifts it pops and it really sounds very aggressive this exhaust is music to the ears it's like a i mean we don't need bumester here because the soundtrack itself is so exciting on the glc 43 amg what brilliant performance absolutely love this engine it just catapults ahead makes your senses go mad and my heartbeat would be around 150 right now because this engine just puts some okay the horn is also nice this engine just puts a massive smile on your face that is the level of performance that is the level of thrust as well okay here we're going to downshift i love the way the tachometer has this red thing you know like if whatever console you choose This is a vlog which is self-explanatory. I don't need to talk. You can see the performance is absolutely mind-numbing. All good till you come to a road ahead. We are like, mm, I need to slow down because with the low-profile tires, this car can't really handle it. And trust me, the ride quality is always busy. In comfort mode, the ride is slightly better. In sport plus mode, which you're driving right now, it is not good at all. I mean, you can feel a lot inside. In sport mode, it's a nice balance of both. So I've told you three modes. There are two more modes. One is individual and the other is slippery. So five drive modes, which alter the engine, the gearbox, the suspension, steering wheel, and obviously the traction control system as well. And there are three modes for the traction control. There's ESP on, which is the case right now. There's ESP sport, 
which is the case right now and then you can turn off esp completely left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor revs it's actually shifting just before 6000 rpm esp sport no problem turn off esp no problem you know why simply because it's formatting it channels power to the front wheels 31 percent power to the front wheels and a nice 69 percent to the rear wheels okay all you dirty minded guys stop thinking about all this yeah 69 percent to the rear wheels of this car which means that there's optimum traction it's more rear bias power delivery which results in absolutely fantastic grip levels at all given times in fact you know what you put this car in higher gear okay it's a nine speed torque converter gearbox super fast with shift super slick super smooth we are in ninth gear right now and it's comfortably doing 100 kilometers per hour around 1500 rpm the best thing is that the lower gears are closer i mean uh, shorter gear higher gears are taller which means that it has the cruising ability yet it has the matte performance and there quick downshift to fourth gear from ninth what you're going to do is you're going to get into manual mode right now we are into manual mode which means that it's not going to upshift unless and until i decide to do so giving me complete manual control of things we are now into second gear look at this light up okay it doesn't go beyond 6000 rpm and it says 6500 rpm oh my god look at this cluster this is absolute madness the way it lights up it's like diwali and the exhaust are like yeah it's diwali so this is a complete festival happening right now with the glc 43 amg which brings me to the suspension of this car like i told you it's on the stiffer side the car feels very busy almost every given moment because yeah the suspension is stiff the tire profile is also on the lower side but forget all that for a moment that actually helps the handling characteristics of this car first and foremost it's really very agile it's nimble it has body roll but it's well controlled as well and the steering is such a delight to use the only complaint i have with the steering wheel is it's not the fastest steering like in terms of turning it but you know what it gives ample amount of feel and feedback it's so feels um, it just feels so great to drive this car low speed high speed whatever speed it just is such a well calibrated steering wheel mercedes does one of the best steering wheels trust me on this so much precision on the steering wheel and handling characteristic is also good this doesn't have understeer you know why torque vectoring is there slew of electronic aids on this car and it just tracks beautifully ahead you know, uh, you know come around the corner try to push it hard the systems work so nicely no understeer wow and no under oversteer either so that balance between both is fantastic now of course you can take this car off-road but you'll be stupid to take it off the road because the tires are low profile the ground clearance isn't much but there's no issue of ground clearance when it comes to obviously climbing over rather no yeah actually you climb over speed breakers in india when you go through speed breakers you have no issue whatsoever you know why because there's ample amount of ground clearance and this has got ss yeah air suspension is there the amg suspension or the as you guys call it sport handling mode in amg guys beautifully calibrated for sporty driving and along with air suspension it is also got adaptive dampers which means that one second let's get out of manual mode sport plus yeah so i was telling you about the suspension of this car now the good thing is the suspension is very well calibrated for sporty driving and uh, you know what it does air suspension you can raise the ride height if you so wish it actually declines the ride height at a certain speed 120 kilometers per hour it will reduce the ride height for better aerodynamic efficiency as well so that is how beautifully it has been done what a fantastic car what a lovely car absolutely more than enough performance you would need the 63 seems pointless all of a sudden the 43 is more than enough for daily driving and having a fun and being practical as well and you know what is the best thing about this car this is made in india freak yes this is made in india this is the first performance car first sports car which has been made in india which makes me salute mercedes for doing this and amg made in india who could have thought that for me it was a shock when the news came that they're actually making amg in india and i was like mm, you gotta be kidding me but no that has happened okay made in india means assembled in india by via the ckd route remember one thing the most expensive car to be manufactured in india is the jeep compass everything above that is actually coming via the ckd route in fact even the civic and fortunate you name the car they're all ckds this is a cbu this is also a ckd now which is the first performance car to be locally assembled in india absolutely fantastic which means that there is obviously a more aggressive price lower taxes for ckd and also lower taxes when compared to cbu in terms of registration charges as well so you not only save in terms of x showroom but you also save in terms of on-road pricing now i feel the brakes are very strong but somehow 
the feel on the brake pedal isn't that great. If you ask me, the only thing missing here is a race start mode, or which one have been so fantastic in this car. Race start would put a bigger smile on your face because that launch control also comes along with it. But still, I have little to complain about this car. Yeah, it's not the most comfortable car. It doesn't have to be. It's an AMG at the end of the day. But performance is more than enough you would ever need. And because this is made in India, it puts a massive smile on my face. Aggressive pricing. I think this is going to cost somewhere around rupees 90 lakhs on road Mumbai, which is very aggressive a price for a car of this kind of performance. The nearest competitor is the Porsche Macan S. Now the Porsche, of course, is better in terms of handling. The interior also feels more special. But you know what? The Porsche is actually slower. Yeah, the Porsche is slower. The Macan is slower than the GLC. It takes 5.1 seconds to go to 100 kilometers per hour. You know why it's slower? Because it makes 354 horsepower. This car produces 390 horsepower. So yeah, more power. Oh my God, this road is like gone crazy. What has happened? So yeah, the Porsche is more expensive as well. And because it's obviously coming by the CBA route. So in terms of value for money pricing or value for money performance, this is I think one of the best in the market right now, which is absolutely fantastic. I love this engine. This is such a fab engine. I never ever thought I would say this for a 43 because I'm more of a 63 guy. And when they were like launching the 53 for the GLE, I'm like, mm, we need 63. But I'm going to try it soon. In fact, I've already driven it by the time this video goes up. You can see my Instagram stories by following me on Instagram. Now you need to slow down here because it's like really freaky because of the low profile tires we're running on 20 inches i think standard is 19 and probably you can get 21 as well but don't do that ever what a sound they have absolutely nailed it with the tuning of the exhaust on this car it just sounds bonkers if i may and the gear shifts are so freaking fast as well such a delight to drive this car Look at the way it changes direction is absolutely fantastic. What a machine. So guys, this is my vlog of the Mercedes AMG GLC 43 formatic coupe. I know it's a long name, but yeah, it justifies its name by offering you fantabulous performance, practical performance and affordable performance. Okay, affordable is a subjective word, so don't use that word so easily. So we're going to stop here. We're going to get into launch mode yet again because I just cannot get enough. Oh my God, look at the way it downships. Wow. So here we are. Okay, we're going to build the boost, 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 boost. Come on. Boost is the secret of this car's energy. Twin turbos, huh? 